Welcome back everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this interactive car page from scratch. So as you can see, I already gathered a bunch of assets to make the page and I already created the main frame. First, create an inner frame, name it, and place your car's images inside. You can also create a next button. Create a little circle and delete its fill. Add a stoke and put it aside for now. Then let's create the texts. First, write the first part of the name, resize it to your liking. Fill it and put its opacity around 44. Copy this text and change its color to a lighter one. Add a seven pixels stroke the same color as the background Align the text, make sure the second one is on top, and add a drop shadow to the first text, and do the same thing for each car. Once you are done, align them one under each other. Group them and create a rectangle and make a clipping mask. On the circle you created, add an arrow, group them, and put the arrows pass through to zero. Create a component set, and on the second variant, increase the group size, move it to the left, and add a white fill. Add this circle to the page in a certain place, just like I do. Copy this frame and slide the cars to the left and the text group up. Don't forget to also move the circle to other places. Do this a third time. Now bear with me, create a rectangle over the first frame just like me, and fill it with information about the part where the circle was. In this case it was the tail lights. Now do this for each circle you had in your frame. them and 
and add them to the frame. Copy the frame, slide the text out of the way. And by pressing K, expand the image to where the corresponding circle is. Now take the respective rectangle and slide it back into the frame, and do a similar process for the rest of the frame and cars. Now for the prototyping part, link every next button to the next frame. And each circle to its respective frame. <laughs> 